a real charm of Phuket, um, Phuket city. So yeah. colorful. Yes, very colorful. You yeah. come to Phuket town, which is on the east coast, so most of the touristy areas on the west coast. Uh -huh. Come to Phuket town, you get to see the old building right. and see the real local culture. You know how people here live. You know what do we do in East? Who we are? What we do? And what we eat? For example, most of the Pranagan home. It's very colorful. Now we are on the lane called uh, Soi Romani, uh -huh. and you know, you know, Romani means pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure in so, Thai. Uh, uh, not so, so long street, but full of pleasure. Exactly, but that's like a century ago. Uh -huh. A century ago, that's the first road in town called uh -huh. Thalang Road. Uh -huh. So Soi Romani is the only lane of Thalang Road, uh -huh. and because it used to be for pleasure business. Uh -huh. Ah, that's why it's called uh -huh. the Alley of Pleasure. Wow. Very cool graffiti. Yes, new one in town. This one, I've seen this one online, and that one is new. That one is also new, but painted around the same time. The painting is of our food, and a colorful, like a colorful snack and dessert. Ah. Uh Now we are at the oldest mansion in town called uh, Chin Prasha Mansion Chin or Ban Chin Prasha. Mansion. Wow! Uh, uh, Looks nice, really huh? nice. Is it colonial style? Yes, it's called Chino colonial um, building or Chino Portuguese style building. Oh, how old? 113 years old. Yeah. The house is open for public with a very small fee uh, from 9 until 4 p.m. Okay. 9 to 4 p.m. So we're now dressing in the, uh, the old... Um, Panaragan style. Panaragan style, yeah. yes. yes. Yeah. When you visit this mansion, they have uh, this cloth, uh -huh. kebaya, uh, uh -huh. foreign. Yeah, and it's nice to like have a few pictures taken when you wear the real cloth in a real background, not in a studio. Welcome to Phuket Fantasy. This place is actually the largest cultural theme park, not only in Phuket, but in Thailand. And there's a show every night at 9 p.m., except on Thursday. It has won a lot of awards, both locally and internationally. I drove here from Patong Beach. It's not very far, just about 10 minutes. Yeah, I've arrived quite early today, but there's a good way to spend your time here because the international buffet dinner is really, really good especially seafood. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, it's automatic. You don't have to touch. Mmm. Seafood mixed with like Thai style and international style. I like pineapple. So, and chocolate. This is called the Palace of the Elephants, or Wang Ayara, and actually is our theater for tonight. In Phuket, one of the must-do activities is to take a boat to islands around Phuket. And there are many places where you can take a boat. This is one of them called Phuket Boat Lagoon. Here, the special thing is that you can have your own private boat tour. All right, let's see which island we're going to today. You know, only five minutes from Phuket Island, we've already arrived here at Gok Rang. 
it's very good that you have your own private boat because you don't have to leave Phuket at the same time as everyone else and, and go back there at the same time as everyone else. So, for example, like it's 5 o'clock in the evening, now all the people are gone, so you have your own beach here at Got Rang. And I think for, for families who have like small kids, I think they don't want to live far away from the main island. So this is one, one good option for them to, to come near the island with like local private speedboat. Especially the sunset scene, also very, very nice here. fishing village, local CGC's people. They are about 2,000 people live here. Uh -huh. uh, they were formerly nomadic uh -huh. in the sea, and that's why we call them, they call themselves actually CGC's people. Uh -huh. uh, estimate number about 30,000 in uh -huh. the old day. Uh -huh. All, more than 28,000 uh, settled in Thailand, somewhere uh -huh. between 150 and 300 years ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, You see, they still live very simple, uh -huh. see? And then they don't look Thai, you see, they look more um, they look more Samoan, mm. actually. Yeah, they had a bigger body build. It's still a fishing village. Mm. So next to the water, 90% of the people here are pretty much involved in fishing industry. Okay. Everyone here is now Thai though. They all are uh, Thai citizens. Mm. Students go to school mm. and they are entitled to all the medical care and everything. Just same just an, as another mm. Thai person. Mm. Very, very friendly people. Mm. Hanuman World Phuket is an exciting yet extremely self treetop zip lining adventure just to the west of Phuket town. It is a great way for families and thrill seekers to get close to nature without risking either your own safety or that of the trees around you. This large adventure park also features a skywalk that leads to a large platform with a trampoline-like sunbed and a bar for trying out different local fruits and their juices. There's also a roller zip line which transverses the whole park at high speed in one long twisting line. Another must-do activity on Phuket Island is spa, so welcome to my cocoon. Thailand is very famous for spa, and nothing compares to the feeling of pampering yourself at a designer spa amidst an ambience of solitude and luxury. Cocoon Spa has revolutionized the art of unashamed bliss and is the destination spa of choice on Phuket Island. You will experience a sense of wetlessness as your body floats away, allowing you to truly relax and unwind. Miracle Thailand is here for you. My friends just come with me and see. the trip stay tuned for the next episode please subscribe